Sister Wives Update. Money is still owed on Coyote Pass. For years, Cody Brown has been trying to get his large, polygamous family on board with the idea of one shared home. However, it became painfully apparent that none of Cody's four wives wanted to live under one roof. So, the Sister Wives star came up with what he thought could be a compromise. Cody, along with Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown, all agreed to buy land in Arizona to build their dream homes on. However, the project turned into a complete nightmare and left them in debt. Who owns Coyote Pass? In 2021, Cody and his four wives purchased parcels on Coyote Pass. Before the demise of the family unit, the family had planned to settle in their own houses. However, as late as 2022, Christine still lived in the house she owned while Mary and Janelle rented. Robin and Cody had also bought a home in town. The homes were not close together and the spread out location had the wives realizing they liked being apart. So, it became apparent that multiple spouses were stalling on committing to the big move. At the time, Janelle, who eventually lived on the land in an RV, seemed like the only one willing to still build her forever home. Together, the Browns spent $820,000 on the land. However, ownership of the land wasn't split evenly among the family members. There are two smaller parcels and two larger parcels. Cody is the part owner of all four properties. Fans were surprised to learn that the land had been split into five plots so Cody could build his own home. Naturally, the wives weren't thrilled with this idea. As of 2024, Christine has sold her parcel back to Cody for $10. The short and sweet answer is no the 14-acre property has remained untouched since the day the Browns bought it. In an episode, Cody explained that the size of each plot didn't matter because the acreage was appraised the same. In June 2023, The Sun reported that Janelle had been able to pay off her parcel of land. Janelle and Cody paid off the land in their name and an additional plot in Robin's name. The debt on the land was $170,000 each. As of 2023, no permits have been issued for building on the land. In season 18, Mary revealed that nothing had been built because they still owed money on the property. The mother of one revealed, honestly, the property is the furthest thing from my mind. There's a lot of family stuff that needs to be worked out. During season 18, Cody noted that his second wife had pestered him about it. In the same season, Robin and Mary also fought about the equal division of land. The Lizzie's Heritage Inn owner felt she had been cheated stating that her husband had already made the decision about the land agreement. Mary went on to reveal that she didn't think it was fair that everyone was given four acres while she was only given two. In June 2023, In Touch reported that Cody and Robin owed $4,858.73 in late property taxes for the land. The legal documents listed Cody as the owner, and as of November 2023, Robin was listed as the owner of three parcels. In August 2024, Sister Wives viewers learned that Cody and Robin had put their Flagstaff home up for sale. The couple are asking $1,650,000 for their stunning five-bedroom, four-bathroom home offers unparalleled privacy and breathtaking views. The Zillow listing claims it offers a luxurious, spa-like ensuite bathroom, complete with a large dual-head shower and built-in shelving in the walk-in closet. While it is unclear if Cody and Robin will relocate to Coyote Pass, most viewers feel they will leave Flagstaff altogether. The trailer for season 19 has shown Robin and Cody struggling with their marriage. Cody is currently only legally married to his fourth wife, but he has alienated most of the family thanks to his bride. With the house up for sale, it wouldn't surprise me if they used some of the money to pay off Coyote Pass and move on from the train wreck that was Arizona. Sister Wives Update Money is still owed on Coyote Pass. Introduction Sister Wives the reality TV series that has intrigued millions with its portrayal of the Brown family's polygamous lifestyle, has seen its fair share of highs and lows. Among the most ambitious endeavors of Cody Brown and his wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin, was the purchase of a vast piece of land in Flagstaff, Arizona, known as Coyote Pass. This property, initially seen as a symbol of hope and a fresh start for the Browns, has become a focal point of ongoing financial troubles. Despite the family's efforts, significant debt remains, casting a long shadow over their plans. This article delves into the history, current financial status, and future outlook regarding Coyote Pass, providing a comprehensive update on the situation. 1. Background on Coyote Pass Coyote Pass, 
a sprawling 112-acre plot located in the scenic area of Flagstaff, Arizona, was purchased by the Browns in 2018. The acquisition was portrayed as a dream come true on, sister wives, a chance for the family to build a communal living space that aligned with their unique lifestyle. The property was envisioned to house separate homes for each wife and Cody, creating a shared yet private living environment. At the time of purchase, the Browns' plans included constructing individual homes, a communal space, and other amenities that would foster their vision of a cohesive family unit. However, the ambitious project required substantial financial investment, and the Browns' financial situation was already strained due to various factors, including ongoing expenses and income instability related to the show's production. 2. Financial struggles of the Brown family The Brown family's financial difficulties have been well documented throughout the Sister Wives series. From struggles with debt to fluctuating income streams, the Browns have faced numerous challenges in managing their finances. The purchase of Coyote Pass, while symbolically significant, came with a hefty price tag that exacerbated their financial woes. Initial reports indicated that the Browns had taken out a significant loan to fund the purchase of Coyote Pass. In addition to the mortgage on the land, the family faced additional costs associated with planning, permits, and the construction of the proposed homes. As of 2024, these financial burdens have not been fully resolved, and the Browns continue to owe money on the property. Several factors have contributed to the ongoing financial strain. The Browns' income from the show has been inconsistent, with varying levels of profitability depending on season viewership and contractual arrangements. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic impact affected many reality TV productions, including Sister Wives, leading to further financial instability for the Browns. 3. Updates on the financial situation Recent updates have shed light on the Browns' continued struggle with the debt associated with Coyote Pass. Despite several years having passed since the land was purchased, significant money remains owed, and the family has not yet fully addressed this financial obligation. According to recent reports, the Browns are still making payments on the land, but the remaining balance is substantial. Public records and financial disclosures have revealed that the Browns have faced difficulties securing additional financing or investments to cover the remaining debt. As a result, the construction of the planned homes on Coyote Pass has been delayed, and the project remains incomplete. In recent statements, Cody Brown and his wives have acknowledged the ongoing financial challenges but have remained optimistic about resolving the situation. The family has indicated that they are exploring various options to address the debt, including potential refinancing of the loan, seeking additional sources of income, and potentially scaling back their original plans for the property. 4. Public and media reactions The financial issues surrounding Coyote Pass have not gone unnoticed by fans and media. Public reaction to the Browns' struggles has been mixed, with some viewers expressing sympathy and support, while others have criticized the family's financial management and decision-making. Fans of Sister Wives have followed the saga of Coyote Pass with keen interest, often discussing the situation on social media and in online forums. Many fans have expressed concern for the Browns and their ability to overcome the financial challenges they face. Some have speculated about the impact of the ongoing debt on the family's relationships and future plans. Media coverage of the situation has varied, with some outlets focusing on the financial difficulties and their implications while others have highlighted the Browns' efforts to address the issues and move forward. The ongoing attention to Coyote Pass has kept the situation in the public eye, contributing to a heightened sense of scrutiny and pressure on the Browns. 5. Future Prospects and Plans Looking Ahead The future of Coyote Pass remains uncertain. The Browns have continued to express their commitment to the project, but the financial hurdles pose significant challenges. Several potential scenarios could play out, depending on how the family addresses the ongoing debt and manages their resources. One possibility is that the Browns may need to scale back their original plans for Coyote Pass. This could involve modifying the scope of the project, reducing the number of planned homes, or making other adjustments to align with their current financial situation. Such changes could help the family manage costs more effectively and make progress on the property. Another option for the Browns is to seek additional sources of income or investment to cover the remaining debt. This could involve pursuing new business ventures, securing sponsorships or endorsements, or exploring other financial opportunities. However, securing additional funding may be challenging given the family's current financial state and the broader economic climate. Ultimately, the future of Coyote Pass will depend on the Browns' ability to navigate their financial challenges and make strategic decisions regarding the property.
the family remains hopeful that they can overcome the obstacles and fulfill their vision for the land, but the road ahead may be fraught with difficulties. 6. Interviews and expert opinions to gain further insight into the situation. We spoke with financial experts and real estate professionals about the Browns' ongoing challenges with Coyote Pass. According to financial advisor Jane Smith, managing such debt requires a careful and strategic approach. It's crucial for the Browns to assess their financial situation comprehensively and explore all available options for managing their debt, Smith explained. Refinancing the loan could be a viable solution, but it depends on their ability to secure favorable terms and manage their cash flow effectively. Real estate expert John Doe also weighed in on the situation, noting that the Browns' plans for Coyote Pass may need to be adjusted in light of their financial challenges. Given the current economic conditions and the family's financial situation, it may be prudent for them to reconsider their development plans, Doe said. Scaling back the project or exploring alternative uses for the property could help them manage costs and make progress. These expert opinions provide valuable context for understanding the complexities of the Browns' financial situation and the potential pathways forward. 7. Conclusion The saga of Coyote Pass remains a significant and ongoing story for the Brown family and their fans. The financial struggles associated with the property have been a major point of focus, highlighting the challenges of managing such a substantial investment. Despite the ongoing debt and delays in construction, the Browns continue to express hope for the future and are actively exploring ways to address their financial challenges. As the situation evolves, the future of Coyote Pass will depend on the Browns' ability to navigate their financial difficulties, make strategic decisions, and secure the necessary resources. For now, the property remains a symbol of both aspiration and adversity, reflecting the complexities of the Browns' journey and the broader challenges they face.